three more December beauty boxes have arrived. Let's unbox them all. We're gonna start off with the Chic Beauty box. I received a box as well as something that kind of looks like Monopoly, right? That's what it looks like. It's by Ace Beauty. <laughs> We're gonna see what that's about. So let's dip into the box first. With the Chic Beauty box, you're paying $34.99. You're gonna get up to five full-size items. You're gonna get indie and or drugstore brands. Sometimes you'll get some like Lux brands as well, like Smashbox, Tarte, The Balm, and brands like that. So here is the card for the month. This one is the November, December box. And although it says November, December, I would typically get it in December. That's where we are. Here are like the products that you can choose out of. I got it in PR, I received it for free, therefore I did not make any selections when it comes to customization, which is cool. It's fine. A lot of times, this is the beauty box that hooks your girl up with spot on shade matches when it comes to complexion items. I don't know how they do it, but they're freaking fantastic, okay? So item number one is going to be a drugstore item. I've never seen this before. Exfoliate and Glow. It's a brush. This is supposed to be $16.79. In full transparency, I'm not gonna use this brush only because I just opened up a whole nother one. I still have the box here. It is the Kind Science one, and I really, really, really like this. This here is going to remove any makeup, any dirt out of your face and your pores. And it's really soft and fluffy. And this side is also gonna help remove dirt particles and stuff from the pores, but it'll also help remove dead skin and it helps with exfoliation. That's pretty cool. See, that's what I'm saying. Like they'll send you some drugstore stuff. And also this is the kind of beauty box that is just very different. Like you're not gonna get the same stuff that every other beauty box is recycling, which is awesome. So I know you're thinking $34.99 for five items, but it is bi-monthly. I received the NYX product and it goes for $9.99. This is one of NYX's high definition blushes. I don't think this would work as a blush for me. It looks like a highlighter, right? Let's see. This is definitely more of a highlighter on yours truly, which is fine. I can use it as a highlighter, but this would also look stunning all over the eye. Then we have this little itty bitty 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 box. It is by Gasivi Beauty. It is supposed to be a liner and it goes for $12. This is one of those water activated liner. Ooh, ooh. It is a water activated liner. So the way that this would work is you would have to drop some water. You can use the Inglot Duraline. Actually, you can even use a setting spray to kind of wet it a little bit and or regular water. Dip your brush into it and then apply. The least amount of water you apply, it'll be a thicker, more opaque application typically, or if you apply more water, then it'll be more of a water-based liner and it'll be a little more on the sheer side. Let me kind of show you guys. I actually have some water here, so I'll wet my brush. Look, this is literally what I'm doing. Call me creative, girl. I'll dip it into the liner. This is in the shade Dark Rose, by the way, and it looks like a brown, but look, I wet it and all of a sudden it kind of looks red. Let's see. So I'm gonna give you guys That was just with condensation off the side of my cup. Do you guys see that? It's definitely more opaque at the bottom than it is at the top. So that shows you the more you wet the product, then the sheerer it's going to get. But that was, I'm gonna do another one. Okay, you, oh my goodness, this is so exciting. I've never heard of the brand and it's affordable, it's 12 bucks. This is the kind of liner that is gonna last you forever. I want it in every single freaking color. Okay, so that's gonna be a yes for me, a yes. That is item number three. Number four is going to be a Bare Minerals Lippy. This one is gonna be in the shade Focus and this baby goes for $22. Oh, that's a pretty nude. Here you have Focus. And that is what it's looking like swatched. It's not a matte, it definitely has a satin finish, but it makes sense because it's one of their Hydra smoothing lippies. Okay, these three I'm really excited for so far. This one I'm forwarding. So far this variation is good, but I'm confused because I wanna know what is this? Like, what is this? And it, oh, I almost stabbed myself with the freaking scissor. And it goes for $49. It is called the Palette Opoly Eyeshadow Palette and Game. So basically, we get to play a game as you do your makeup. Oh, can you just open? I'm struggling here. 
Yeah. There's a QR code. Hopefully there's a video because I'm a visual girl. I don't learn anything by reading it. I have to see it happening in order to get it. I've always been like that. You get instructions and then you get another box. We'll dip into that box in a second. You get pencils, you get cards, you have a little notepad thing. You know what? This is a game that I could play with the girls. That would be fun. And then I'm assuming, yep, this is your palette. Palette, ah, blah, 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 blah. I tried to be cute. It didn't come out. Anyway, palette opaly, bringing the fun back into makeup. Oh my goodness. You get a full size mirror, pero mira, she is stunning. Good, good. Look how pretty she is. You have mattes. You have shimmers and it's a sp Listen, this palette, the color story is storying, okay? You have pinks, you have a berry, you have purples, you got blue. You're missing a green, but that's okay. I forgive you. You have some smoky shades. Look at this blue. Look at that pink. How fun is this? I want to see the purple. It's called Purple Rain. How pretty would that be all over the lid? Oh my gosh. I can see why it's $49. I, I would totally pay the $49. And it is a game. That is actually pretty exciting. This is a really nice box to end the year with. Y'all did good, girl. Chic Beauty Box. A plus. Now we have to dip into Ice Cream Beauty. If you're new to the channel, mija, we're gonna follow up and do makeup tutorials playing around with the Beauty Box products, so no worries. We're gonna go ahead and unbox both of the Ice Cream Beauty for the month of December. Now this is a monthly subscription. Both of these were also sent my way so that I can unbox, review, and review for you guys, so I didn't pay for these. The bag goes for $12.50. You do have to pay a $4 shipping, so you're looking at about $17, $18 in tax and stuff like that. You're gonna get anywhere between three and five full-size items. It's really gonna depend on the total price point of the products. Last month, I think I got three products and maybe even the month before. The card says, tis the season. It says St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. So during this season, anyone who decides to purchase anything from Ice Cream Beauty, whether it's the box or the bag, a portion will be donated to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital super Nice, like that's just really nice, right? Now for the month of December, we are getting three products. Let's see. This is by Bo Beauty. Bo Beauty. Bo Beauty. Bo Beauty. It says gold opal eyeshadow. It's a liquid eyeshadow and it goes for $30. Now this is the kind of brand that is going to surprise you. Not just the packaging is pretty, but you wouldn't expect the pigmentation, the blendability and or quality that you get with it. And I was introduced to this brand. I believe, I, I, I wanna, credit Ice Cream Beauty. I may be wrong, but Ice Cream Beauty is the one that stands out in my brain when I think of Bow Beauty. So here is your $30 liquid eyeshadow. You see what I'm saying? Like this packaging is like super cute. Like it's one of those things that I wouldn't pay flat out $30 for just the eyeshadow. But if I get it in a beauty box and it works amazing, but if it doesn't work, I wouldn't be mad at it because it would look cute in the background. Let's see how she rolls. You twist her. Yes, you twist her. This is going to be your applicator. The shade name is Gold Opal. And this is supposed to be an eyeshadow. So basically you apply it on your lid, blend it out. You should be good to go. I don't know if it's going to crease, if it's going to move around. We're going to test it for sure. You already know that. We're going to let this dry down 100% and then try to see if we can smear it and move it around. But that is going to be your shade. I don't know if they're featuring more than one shade for the month, but I'm really curious about that. It's pretty. Let's say it doesn't actually move around. The applicator, although I was able to blend it out on the like my palm fairly easily, I think the applicator is thin enough to where you could even do a quick little cut crease situation, not that the eye needs it. You know what, I'm gonna leave it alone because my eyes are looking really good right about now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it alone, but I will say this can do one of those graphic lines and it would look super cute. Number two is going to be a little compact or what looks like a compact. It is the Base Blue Face Color Powder and it goes for $25. Base Blue has some really pretty packaging for sure. It's magnetic, that's pretty cool. That is actually super pretty. 
They call it a face color powder because face blues powders could be used all over the face. You can use it on your cheeks. You can even apply a gloss and then tap some of whichever of the two shades you want on the gloss itself to kind of shift the tone of your gloss, but you can use it as an eyeshadow too. That's actually really pretty. I would personally use it as a blush. I would swirl it and then just kind of like pop her on. I think it would look really pretty. Okay, that's cute for $25. Let's see, I think it dried down. Let's see. Girl, she's not moving at all. Once it sets, it's like one of those infomercials, you know, you set it and forget it. And then we have an eyeshadow palette by Creme de la Cube. It is called their Coco palette, and this goes for $35. I expected it to have a whole bunch of different nudie browns because it's their cocoa palette. Do they just mean cocoa because of the packaging or, right? Where do you get cocoa out of blue? It's pretty. I'm not complaining about the shades. I'm just confused as to where do you get cocoa with this color story. $35 though, I don't know. This is the shade that I would use all over the lid on New Year's. Oh, it looks really frosty and pretty in the palette itself. I think it was, it was like an overspray at the top. It looked super shimmery, metallic-like, glittery. And then once I applied it on my palm, it just looks like any other eyeshadow. Okay. That was the shade that I was really, really interested in. Never mind. You want to show the look? Say, hey, everyone. I have mommy's rhinestones all over my shirt and my pants and my cheek. Show them your, your cheek over here. Cheek. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, mommy's rhinestones. Look at your, oh, oh, your elbow is blinging, mama. Oh, and you took my mirror, too? Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. How are you? I help. Can you take all these little stones off your elbow, please? Yeah. Take, they're stuck. They're stuck. Look at all my rhinestones. Ow. <laughs> Yeah, take them out. Go sit. Mom life. Considering it's a $12.50 subscription service, I know you're paying shipping and what, but you know what? Nothing is cheap nowadays. This is actually pretty nice. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. And I'm curious about this one. I'm so confused about just the idea behind it overall, but I'm curious to see how the formulas are going to perform on the eyeball. Now we're going to move on to the box itself. You're going to get five full size product for just $25. Shipping is going to be free with this one. Here is the little card. As per usual, the packing peanuts and our five full-size items. I got two of the B Bella Lip Perfection pencils. It says six bucks, so it's about three each. And I got a red as well as a nude. I've received some of these in the past. They haven't been life-changing only because I don't recall if I liked them or not. Otherwise, if I loved them, I would have been like, oh my God, these are amazing! But I don't remember. Vamos a ver if it's creamy, if it's not creamy, if they work or they don't. This is a red orange. I got the shade Coral. This is not a Coral, Mama, because Coral has a little bit of pink in it. That is most definitely orange, and I'll show you now. Pigmented, glided really easily. That's awesome. And then the shade Unforgettable. It's a very pinky, pinky pink. Here are your two shades. Right, that's not Coral. Coral is orange, but has a hint of pink in it. That's a flat out orange, but I'm not mad at it. They are soft. I feel like I still have the other ones of these. And if that's the case, then they're actually nice. They did apply well. I didn't have to like press too hard or apply too much pressure. They're pretty opaque. So even though they may not have been super life-changing, listen, I've tried lip liners that sucked so bad that as soon as you kind of go at it, it scrapes your lips and it's not cute. So I'm actually glad that we got those and not ones with the weird formula. They featured an Ofra mini lip set. This goes for 20 bucks. I already own it, so I'm not gonna open it. But this is the lip set that launched in August. So it's not super, super old in terms of launches either. And these are really nice. They're gonna be perfect for your bag and or travel purposes. Same exact formula as the full size liquid lipsticks. Same hydration, same wear, same pigmentation. It's just an itty bitty travel friendly packaging. It looks like I got a liquid liner by ZC. This is also a brand that I was introduced to by Ice Cream Beauty. All right, this goes for $24 and it is in the shade Cream White. I remember receiving another one of these. I don't remember the color, but I liked it. Oh, I think, was it the red one? Or like a berry, something like that. 
It is so pigmented and opaque with just one swipe. That is gonna be perfect for the holidays. I feel like I wanna do something a little different. Instead of like a everyday kind of makeup look, like something like this, I would totally try to do like little icicles or something. I don't know that it'll come out pretty, but I'm thinking we should do little icicles one day on my eyeballs. Then we have another ZC product. This looks like it could be a highlighter. It is in collab with the British Museum. Now this apparently goes for $26. The front of the packaging is actually super cute. You get a mirror with the compact, and then you get your highlighter, which looks like has Cupid printed on it, but I may be wrong. I literally know nothing about the British Museum. But let's give, oh, that's pretty. Isn't that, this would look amazing on the eye. I wanna put everything on the eyes. Look at how pretty that looks. You know what, we're gonna put some on now. By the way, I have no highlight on my skin. This is just skincare, moisturizer. Oh, how? intense is that see it was luminous over here but this area here was matte you guys this is a really nice highlight item number five is an eyeshadow palette it is by shantico beauty it goes for 40 bucks and it is the hearth palette that looks super cozy with a hot cocoa right this one opens sideways which is fun i think this is a fun color story i feel like a lot of people will look at it and be slightly intimidated because it has pops of colors and not a lot of neutral that you can kind of work together this mustard shade all over the lid this shade on the crease, this one on the outer crease area, and then tapping a little bit of this one for some shimmer on the inner corner. This shade is so pretty, that is a dual chrome. I'm not, listen, I'm not mad at it. Is it gonna be my favorite color story? No, is it workable? Yes, could it be challenging for some? Sure. I can see that. But I do think it's different and I feel like it's gonna be fun to play around with it. I personally think that all three of the subscription services did their thing with the boxes. The boxes are actually really nice considering the brands that they're featuring, that they're not items that are being rotated between all the other beauty boxes. It's definitely new to all of us and caters to what subscription services have been about from the beginning, which is discovery, beauty, and having fun. Now, if I had to pick one out of all three of them, I feel like the Chic Beauty Box did their thing this month. I'm really excited to play around with the eyeshadow palette game, but also I feel like ice cream features some really cool stuff that we're gonna play around with. So they, they just did really well overall. But as always, your opinion matters. I wanna hear you guys' thoughts, so make sure you sound off in the comments section. Now it is time that we thank our channel members, the G-Squad. These lovely people here on screen along with me are my G-Squad members. They have chosen to join this channel as members and support us at a higher level. When you join channel memberships, YouTube provides you with your own little badge to let everyone know you are a member and they will highlight your comments in every video. You'll gain access to your very own private community page as well as access to exclusive videos and additional giveaways. If you're ever interested in joining the G-Squad, all you really need to do is hit the join button below this video. And if you don't see it on your device, no worries. Just check the description box. There's a link available for you. Two playlists are popping up on screen. They have a way more beauty content I really feel you're gonna enjoy so I highly recommend you check those out and I'll see you guys really really soon. Bye guys!